Hey there, this is Sido for Team Bass Poker and today we will show you how to set up the Team Bass Poker Extreme HUD that you can buy in our shop and in the head to note store. So for this, um, I want to, I will not show you the installation because the installation is already shown in another video. So if, uh, if you didn't, you can check it in the description. And for this one, I will show you how to uh, put the HUD correctly uh, at your table because sometimes when uh, not sometimes but generally when you will open uh, the, the HUD first time you might get a little bit confused or stressed or scared because of the size of the HUD so it might be something like this or like the the, the panels are uh, put uh, everywhere uh, on the table and with uh, sometimes a big size or a small size so <clears throat> you don't need to panic this is very normal and to uh, solve this you need to put two very important options here this is um, this one here so uh, scale font uh, size in HUD uh, at 0% so you thick this one and here very important uh, this one as well you put X as 1 and Y as 3 so you thick this one uh, and this one and this will solve the problem so whether because here if you make it small or big it will be the same and now um, if it's big or small this will keep it um, uh, smooth and fine placed in your table so if we make this uh, like a small table you can see that the 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 panels are still uh, at their place and uh, looking fine even for a very small sizing uh, table and also for a big table so this is for the when you open and you cannot fit the HUD uh, at your table. Uh, the second thing here is that the HUD in itself, it's not a dynamic HUD, it's a static HUD because most of the of the poker rooms nowadays, they they just uh, forbidden the, the dynamic HUDs and therefore we have to go with the static HUD. Uh, but here you will see that the, the, the guy here on the big blind is, um, is having only small blind and big blind versus button uh, and this guy is having small blind versus button and big blind versus small blind so they the, it might look like that it's it's actually a dynamic hat this is because all the panels and other panels are hidden over here so this is how you should um set it up so this this guy you need to put of course the button the button is for uh, every player uh, have the the button uh, play uh, position he will play on the button but this player will never play small line uh, this is uh, will never play big blind this is small blind so he will play only small blind this is big blind against us so the big blind this is small blind we don't need uh, needed to uh, need him to have it in uh, shown in here and vice versa for this person he doesn't we will never play him as small blind this is big blind so we'll be always on the small blind and he will be always on the big blind and that's why uh, we don't need small blind this is big blind and we need only big blind this is small blind and same for the button small blind this is button here when we are on the button he will be only on the small blind and this guy will be only at the big blind when we are for the button that's why we need to put only those stats here um, for for this player so we need to put the button big blind versus button and small blind versus big blind and for this player we need to put the big blind versus small blind the button uh, of course and the uh, the small blind versus button all the panels will be hidden over here so this is why we have this box here this is for the hiding part so we will hide all the panels on this side and we will put uh, put them here and this way this way you have a kind of not a dynamic hat but you have only the the stats needed and not a ton of panels uh, at your screen and only the panels that you need uh, for each player for the heads up part it's way easier because we don't uh, we don't use the height uh, the hiding uh, thing we just have all panels and uh, also because of the heads up like 
we need all the information uh, about all uh, both positions you know the player style and here this is how we recommend to put the uh the panel so in a in a way that you have the board texture uh you can see all the cards for for on the on the board uh, on the board and also you have here especially if you are for example playing on winamax you can easily click on the player and tag him if you are using the tag so this way you have the hud in uh, placed around the table with all the information clear uh, you have the blinds that are shown here the name of the player that is clear and also if you need to put tags or whatever on your players depending on the poker side you are playing on uh, you can do this easily and smoothly so yeah this is how you uh, this is how we recommend to put the extreme hard and how you can um, configure it in a way that it's not very big and it's shown in a good way all right everyone i hope you, this is very helpful don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button this helps us a lot and from my side i wish you good luck at the table bye bye